Hi there and welcome to another exciting session of training provided by Quicksoft. In this chapter, we are going to cover a very interesting topic which is register source system. This is the first topic as part of Accounting Hub implementation where you understand how to register source system. Yeah, this is Oracle has provided you a spreadsheet which you can prepare and upload in the system. We will go through all those steps so that you understand how to register source systems in Accounting Hub. Yeah, so these are a list of topics which are going to cover as part of Accounting Hub implementation. First topic which are going to cover is registering of source systems. Yeah, so, so to register source system, we download the spreadsheet template from the system. This is available uh, as part of rapid implementation. So we download template, we populate source, metadata information, line information, header information, whatever fields we need. And then there is an option to validate. Yeah, so we validate whether the content which we are given are correct or not. After validation, we generate a zip file and then we upload the zip file in the system. Which our system generates all necessary information and loads those as XLA in Excel tables. And source system is finally registered so that accounting rules can be configured based on the source system which you have registered. So we we'll download spreadsheet template. Yeah, so which can be uploaded in the system to generate your source systems. We will populate the information as needed depending upon what header and what line information we have. I am going to explain to you when I go to the sheet. Once the temp template is ready, we will upload the template in the system which will have journal source, journal category, event model, transaction object source and accounting attribute assignment. All this will be done by the system. You just provide the basic information which is required in those template. All this will be auto generated by the system when you upload yeah you can upload the file again if there are any corrections as long as you have not created any accounting rules or uploaded source system data very the source system is created correctly you can inquire and see all the information is correct and if again if anything missing re-upload to fix the fix the information okay now i'm going to show you in the system how to do all these steps okay so let's start in order to register the source system go to setup and maintenance and choose the set application financial accounting hub then go to accounting information and then pick the first task create sub ledger application setups in spreadsheet once you create come to the screen click on download setup template this will download an excel file for you open excel file once you open excel file this is it just gives you in the instruction sheet a snapshot of how this whole application works and then these are the sheets which are important for you. Source systems, transaction information, which is transaction header and line information. We'll go one by one for each sheet. Let's go for source system. So give a name for your source system. Yeah, so this is the name can be 30 characters. So I'm just giving QS uh, loan system. Yeah, short name has to be all uppercase and max length is 30 characters for this. You can give. So once you define the system, once this gets created, this becomes another sub-ledger in your sub-ledger accounting method. When you see currently payable, receivable, all these are sub-ledger. So this also becomes one more sub-ledger in your system. Yeah. Now you can create all various transaction types, yeah, or even type which you call for under, under this particular system, whatever can happen. Loan system, we are talking about loan or uh, disbursement. Max length is for type is 30 characters for system name is 25 characters. So I just has to be uppercase disbursement. Yeah, loan payment. Yeah, and then our loan interest. Let me give it a name. This is a simple scenario. Simple. Okay, so now I have one system which is called QS loan system. The scenario which I'm taking is that this system is receiving accounting information from the source. And these are different activities which are happening in the source system loan disbursement, 
loan payment and loan interest yeah when the loan is given to customer this is the activity which happens when customer makes a payment this is the activity which happens let me just rename it easy loan repayment so it's easy to understand yeah and then if customer makes late payment we are charging interest to customer let's keep it simple there's three activities which are happening there okay we save this file and then we go for transaction now in order for data to be received from this system we have to provide transaction header and transaction line information yeah this is a format which we're going to agree and we'll inform the source system guys that you have to send me file in this particular format once we're done with this, we can go for transaction information, which is transaction header information. These are predefined fields which are available there, which we, have to, we cannot change this one. We just have to follow as it is. Transaction date, this is from where the accounting date for journal is derived. Transaction number, this is the this is to group a transaction. If you have multiple line in a transaction and line level, you will be using the same transaction number, gives the context of one transaction. And ledger name, to which ledger the data will be sent to. Yeah. On top of this, if I want to add more field at header level, I can. I'm adding this additional information, customer name, customer category, and source system name. Yeah, so because source system is what I have registered in my system, but when I'm receiving data from the source system, they'll be sending me transaction header and line information, but they have to tell me which source system it has to go to. Yeah, customer name is my customer, which I'm storing in my system, customer category, and source system. Type of this, you can choose text, number, date, long text as required. Long text is backup, which you can store. Journal display, used to display the source values for journal on reports and inquiry. Acceptable values are yes or no, up to 10 rows. You may have many fields here. Up to 10, you can flag as yes to be shown. Yeah, let me just flag both of these as yes at this stage. Yeah, source system I don't want to show here. So my header is complete. Now I go to my line information. Transaction number, same what comes from the header. So this is where they connect. Default amount, this is the line amount which is in the entered currency and the currency of the transaction. Yeah, this is entered currency, entered amount. Yeah, I'm just adding some more fields. I'm adding loan line number. There can be multiple lines in the loan. And then, as I said, in this simple example, we have complete chart of account string which is provided by the source system. And it is in line with what I have in my in a fusion system. That means, we have shared our chart of account with them and their system has capability to map and transform the data before sending it to us. And then these are all defined as text. So all chart of account should be defined as text. And then chart of account values indicate that a source system can be used to derive the account acceptable values or are yes or no. All these fields later can be used in the mapping set, which we define later to say, okay, GL company, this one from this field goes into which segment of your fusion chart of account yeah so we'll do that later once you understand so in this example what you have done we have defined a source system qs loan system simple these are three activity or even type which can happen there loan disbursement loan repayment by customer and loan interest calculation data file which you're expecting from the customer is this they have to give us transaction date transaction number and ledger name customer name customer category and source system name as defined here for the line information, transaction number will connect to a header header file. This is the entered line amount, currency of the entered line amount. This is based on the entered currency. And these are additional fields I have stored line number, just in case there are multiple lines. And these are all the chart of account which they are going to provide me. Yeah, and expecting them to have this mapped with the chart of account values. As I'm going to use this in my mapping mapping sets to derive my chart of account value based on this value yeah once you're done with this file let's go and validate whether information is accurate yeah we click on validate please review the error in validation report let's look at the validation report it says applicant short name cannot exist 15 characters okay so short name is 15 sorry i said 25 is 15 i hope it's 15 now Validate. Yeah. Okay, so we can save. I think they have changed it, revised it. Previously it used to be 25, now they have revised it to 15. So I can save it. Once you are ready, click on generate GIF. 
this will generate a zip file in the, into your folder which you are going to upload. So once you have done that zip file creation, come back to the same screen from where you download the template and click on upload setup file. Choose the file. I have this file which I created. I choose the file, say open and click on upload. Now system will do the upload process. In case there are any errors during upload, it will show you those errors here. If it does not show an error, that means my source system upload is correct. This process takes a while to complete, so be patient, wait for it to complete. The file has been loaded successfully. System shows imported without errors. It's not showing any error here, so that means my load is successful. Click OK, click on Done. Once the file loading is completed, we go into application under Fusion Accounting Hub. I go to Accounting Transformation. Then I go into Manage Subledger Application. I have selected the scope as the application which I have created. Now this is the application which system has created. The application name has been given as per what you have given an example. And then you can also make some changes if required after this. For example, support multiple valuation method. This is useful if you have a requirement to if uh, push data to multiple ledger and there, there are different accounting requirements for that. In our example here, we just keep it simple. Calculate reporting currency amount because we are giving the entered currency amount. So depending upon the rates and all for foreign currency, it's going to calculate the, the currency amounts for us. Automatically delete invalid transaction when we are loading some data. If there are some invalid transaction, if you tick this one, this is going to delete all those. But let's not take it at this stage because we want to see what those invalid transactions are and then we can see what to do for those. Now the event model, as you have seen the three different uh, classification which we created in our application, loan disbursement, loan interest and loan repayment, those are defined as an event. Let me click on this, our application. This will show general information for the application. This is what I have, what we have given. And then uh, default general category which it will point to. Typically, uh, you also see general source here. General category and general source system automatically creates for you for your application as the same name as your application. In this case, LMS simple, LMS simple has been created, which is uh, by default. And these are the three. Also, when I go to user transaction identifier, I can see the column which I have added specifically for those. Yeah, at application header level. Now I go to see these are three different events which are defined. This is just to review. I haven't made any changes. So I will just not save anything. I just come back. So this is one thing which has been created by the system. Next next item we look at uh, transaction objects. Because by default, system automatically creates transaction objects to hold the data which we are going to load for this application. Let me go there. Now you notice for this application, it has created one header object which is some predefined prefix. XLA headers, XLA lines, and then the application name which we have. Yeah, header and line. So these are, are already created by default. Now if I go to view source assignments. So for this event class, it has already linked all those header and line columns here. And accounting assignment has been done at this level for each header has been assigned to header table and line object has been assigned to line table. So by uploading from this rapid spreadsheet, it has done all this work for us. Okay, let's continue. Next, next one which I want to show you is the manage sources. This is where it shows you all the attributes which you identified for your uh, objects, header attribute, line attributes, all are available here, and it shows you the type and also the source for those. For example. For GL, all chart of account segment where I said yes, it has tagged that that flex field application is generalizer and this is coming from accounting flex field. So all the validation for those field which are, will automatically be in place for those fields. Yeah. If you want to add for any additional field, you can set those attributes. For example, if I, I won't set it now, just want to show you. This is my customer category. I can actually set lookup name uh, application and the lookup type from where it should be validated. So this is when the value, value comes from the connection files it will validate what the value is coming for. If the value is wrong, the loading will fail. Let's look at the next 
next one i want to show you is the accounting attributes yeah so accounting date source is transaction date distribution type accounting event type whatever is coming entered amount from default amount currency and line number these are the attribute which system is taking we can add more attribute as required but for a start we're just going to do it very simple and then load it and see how the loading goes okay let me click on cancel so these are all the key things which you need to look or look for when you create an application through the rapid upload and then you can see just to inquire the data in the system the same thing we can go on each and every screen and do it manually as well but by doing through a rapid spreadsheet it allows you to do the same thing much faster in this chapter you have learned how to create a source system or, or sub ledger application in accounting hub we are, i've shown you how the rapid application uh, rapid upload process can be used to create this application which is very simple process excel based uh, information which you define as per your requirement and once you validate and upload then you can go and inquire all these different setup which system has created in the system for you yeah this is a fast and convenient way to create your application and also later once you define if you have one more application which is very similar you can download a template and reuse it again as well okay so we'll continue uh, uh, the more more details of counting up in, in our next chapter okay so with this we come to the end of this chapter thank you very much for your time and attention and happy learning